Ladies and gentlemen, today I have the tobacco bias by um, my father's. So far, very nice, creamy, smooth taste, medium body. The pre-light was like a tea, like a tea flavor, um, grass and hay and sweetness. Great smoke output. Um, burn it evenly. Very nice retro ale taste. Um, like a brown sugary. Um, Like brown sugar and cream coffee. And it's a very good start so far. So, with that being said, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, about 15 minutes in. <laughs> It's about an inch, the ash is about an inch in. Um, smoking pretty good, slight bitterness, but overall creamy taste and sweet brown sugary um, notes with the. Um, slight chocolate flavor, um, slight espresso notes. Um, Pepper spice through the retro hail. Black pepper. A little bit of a mix, a mixed nuts flavor too is in here as well. Um, But yes, very black peppery on the retro hail, and um, we yeah, got not a whole lot's coming out. A consistent flavor profile, though, for now. All right, talk to you later. Okay, right now in the cigar, I taste a um, an earthiness coming in with a sourdough bread. Um, with the brown sugary notes and the creaminess, but it's a little bit more bitter now as it's going along, just a little bit. But still good flavors in it. Um, we are overall earthy. It's up to a medium. But a nice even bird, razor sharp. Um, So yeah, not really much to it at this point. Um, and that's really it for now. Okay, I'm about maybe a little less than 40 minutes in. And the ash is almost two inches long. The flavor is getting a little bit more simmered in now um, with the sweetness and the earthiness and not a whole lot of variation though. Um, I am retrohaling a lot so it is a comfortable pepper through the retrohale. 
It's got like more toasted notes coming into it now, like toasted nuts. Um, Like that toasted sourdough taste, maybe. Um, it's pretty much the same flavors, only they're more toasted now. Pretty much. Um, and it's burning nice. It's it's worth a shot, definitely.